welcome home, Gary Anderson. What a reception here in Aberdeen. Wayne Mardle, goosebumps. Yeah, incredible. In, well, I, I said on stage five minutes ago, I think he's used to it all now. No way. No, no human being can get used to a reception like that. It was just, it was phenomenal. There's, there's only four and a half thousand here this evening. You, you would say there was more, 15,000. It, it's incredible. They, they love him, uh, along with the, the other darting winners we've had, uh, Jockey Wilson, Les Wallace. They're, they're, they're all heroes to them, and he's, he's the latest, and uh, they, they've got a cracker there. He was watching the pictures of him lifting the World Championship trophy. He had a tear in his eye backstage. It was quite an emotional moment. Yeah, the, the memories just come flooding back for him, and he appreciates what, what he's done, and he's going he's gonna to milk it for everything he's got, and I, I completely understand that, and he's right. But what he's actually doing as well is playing some fantastic darts, and uh, that hasn't stopped. They're, they're still going absolutely nuts. It's brilliant. We only come to Scotland twice a year. But it is always an incredible atmosphere here in Glasgow. Phenomenal. Look at that. How can you not enjoy this atmosphere? I'll tell you who's not enjoying it, and that's James Wade. He must, <laughs> he must be thinking he's in the way. He must be thinking this is the Gary Anderson show. Well, he's got to keep them quiet. That's what he's got to do, straight off the bat. Nigel Pearson, Stuart Pye, your commentators. Amazing is the word that sums up the atmosphere in Aberdeen. How will James Wade cope with this partisan Scottish crowd? Spine tingling. It really is. Anderson coping with the pressure. Anderson perfect at the start of this match as the volume goes up another five levels. What a start from both players. This is breathtaking early on here. Anderson keeps it going. Plenty of room for another. He's going to switch down. But, you know, he's not had it all his own way when he's been back in Scotland. He uh, got one win in Glasgow in four before he beat Kim Hybrex a month ago in Glasgow. Uh, but uh, he does feel the extra pressure and expectation. But I think tonight, there's a difference with Gary. I think he's thriving on the support, rather than the pressure that perhaps he was feeling ahead of Glasgow a month ago as world champion. I think he's embracing it this time. Now, tops for Wade to take an early lead here. That's a fine finish, no mistake. At tops for James Wade, who is off and running here. Well, that's the perfect response from James Wade. 137. Brilliant, isn't it? Just brilliant atmosphere here. You can hardly hear yourself think. Yep, it is terrific here in Aberdeen, where oh, Gary Anderson nice. has not been beaten here in the Premier League, unbeaten in four. Gary Anderson, who at this venue, always produces a fantastic atmosphere. I'm trying to say he's fared oh, better nice. here in Aberdeen than he has done in Glasgow in his Premier League career. So, unbeaten in four. Can he keep that going here? against James Wade and looking at the league table as well Anderson on 13 points and he's already seen Adrian Lewis and Phil Taylor close that gap tonight oh, a trouble trolley would have left the ball for James and James Wade 9 points from 11 games he slipped behind Lewis and Taylor they've gone too hard playing well too 106 average in the first two legs 64 2 nil he leads. And if he can hold his throw here, and Gary will need every bit of backing from this Aberdeen crowd to help him get back into it. 99. But with great expect expectations comes great pressure, and he will raise the win. Gary Rickworth, 40. This time, and Anderson hits back, break of throw, crucial as well after going 2 0 down. He's in the match. Big game, Anderson. Two wins away, I reckon, from making absolutely certain of his place in the playoffs. Let's three in a bed. And Anderson second. And here's the noise, and here's the response. He's done it again! He's done it again! And the 
Henderson hit a maximum in the first leg. Wade responded, and Wade has done it again, and the crowd is a hush. We're in the fourth leg. 95. Gary Aguilar, 103. Single free for tops. This would be a great moment for Gary, but James still has the opportunity. A break of four and a three one lead. So Gary Anderson's going to return here. Topsy needs to level the match at two apiece. Big moment coming in. Middle of the bed, no problem. Gary Anderson has bounced back superbly, levels this match at two legs all. We remind you, James Wade going into this game on nine points from his 11 games, two behind Adrian Lewis and Phil Taylor. Gary Anderson is on 13 points. And still with a little bit of work to do to get over the line. If you work on the theory that Van Gerwen and Chisholm are already open at the 0-2, I think Chizzy may feel happier if he can just make another draw. Gary's average. Yeah, two wins for me to make absolutely sure for Anderson. May only need one, depending on how other results go, but certainly 60. 